hi guys you're welcome to my youtube channel you're welcome to victim fashion of with which you are here today how are you all doing hope you're fine thank you for coming back so on today's tutorial we're going to be teaching you guys two ways like two skirts one flare skirt and one pencil skirt that the slit will be in front and there's going to be a bow yes the first one that we're going to sew that we're going to cut is the peplum top so for me because the fabric is so much this fabric is not even up to one and a half so we are going to be using 180 degree peplum skirt peplum yeah flare whatever you used to call it peplum flare but here you get so i fold it into two then i now fold it just the way you're seeing it so what i was doing here is i was measuring uh, i was dividing a waist by four yes i was dividing a waist by four then add two inches for the zipper allowance then i draw a cuff that's how i do my flare but if you have any way you do your flare, you just let us know on the comment section. So then I'll draw it out. Oh, I forgot to work on my returning subscriber. Hello, returning subscriber. You know I love you guys so much. Thanks for always coming back. I love you guys. New subscriber, you're welcome to the family. Make sure you subscribe if you have not. Just make sure you turn on the notification button to see more of my video when I upload it. Then give us a thumbs up in our video. Make sure you comment. If you have any tutorial you want us to do, just chat us on IG big safe fashion up youtube yeah so at this point i was measuring the length because i told you guys this fabric is not much so we are going to be joining the down part if your fabric is much you can actually cut 360 degree peplum you can cut it so at this point i was done cutting then i want to measure the one that i'm going to be joining in the down part as you can see yes that's what i'm doing here i you need to arrange it well so when you're joining it will not be disaster okay whatever so i will you need to and then i start i cut it out and i fold it that is all so we are going to the pencil gown that we are going to so the first one we are going to cut is the front part and i told you guys the front is in slits if the, the slit is in the front so you're gonna be careful and listen to what i'm saying so on this tutorial we are going to be cutting the front first so the first thing that we're going to do is measure the length and minus our band allowance for me i'm going to be using one and a half then the next thing i'll measure for my waist to a hip line then make sure you are removing the one and a half inch for the belt then i will a waist to a knee line so this one inches i'm actually drafting out here is for the uh, front when we want to join the front together so it's very compulsory you draft out this one inches out for your front so in there's another thing i want to talk when i draft one inches then i use straight ruler to draw it there's one thing i want to say is that when you want to cut this please make sure you cut it on fold yes on fold i, I didn't cut it on fold and it later should so the next thing is i'm going to measure my waist divided by four add one inches for the dots and two inches for the allowance you can use one and a half but i use two inches allowance so the next thing i'm going to do is measure the hip divide your hip by four and add two inches allowance yes so for the new part i usually used to go down by two inches why do you used to go back by two inches i don't know either <laughs> it's just for the dress to be okay so for the new line we are just going to go down and why not one and a half inch from the hip measurements then we draw it down as you can see so that is all for the front then we are going to cut it out we are going to be using this front to cut out the back so the first thing that you're going to do is fold that one inches in because it's not part of the measurements of your measurements so you are going to fold it in then place it on top of the fabric like i told you guys when you're cutting this make sure you're cutting on fold yes I didn't cut on fold and it later affected my sewing. 
so that's why i'm saying it now so for the back we are going to first of all measure our zipper allowance for the zipper allowance so for the hip side you can go out by two inches yes you can go out by two inches then for this waist that waist side you can go out by one and a half inch it's just for your hip to sit where then for the new side one and a half inch then draw a straight line and draft it out that's all for the back measurement too as you can see what i'm doing i'm actually ruling it out yes i'm ruling the zipper part out so after this okay we are going to be going down half inch in the in the waist side i in the front side we are going to be going down by half inch yes then in the skirt side we are going to be going up by one inch the half inch we remove from the front and another half inch for the sewing allowance that is what i did here yes so we went up by one inch for the for the back then you 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 slant it to meet the waist of that place that is all i did i hope you understand then i cut it out yes so these are the front and the back of the tutorial i this is why i said you should do unfold the reason was because when i wanted to split this front i realized that i was supposed to do a tutorial unfold so i have to first of all cut it on my fabric because before starting look at i was supposed to cut this then i was doing the measurement for the dart yes for the dart i was supposed to cut this on fold so when you want to cut yours cut it on fold so i had to first of all use it to cut my fabrics yes i have to use it so i have to use this to cut my fabric on fold so that is when i could able to do the 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 splitting for the front so this that that we measure is your nipples to nipples measurement you know we measured it for it ma this person is four inches you now see from that that you are going to go forward just the way you're seeing it so you see from that that you are going to go one inches forward if you want yours to be in the left side you go one inches for me i want it to be in the right side so you are going to give it a good press just to give you that in that how you are going to cut it so at this point i already cut it out you know if i didn't do it on fold it won't be able i won't be able to achieve this there's another mistake i did is not cutting the lining before folding ball i can actually cut the lining so at this point i was cutting out the back and i realized the fabric was not much i shall know how i joined joined too because this fabric was so much so i cut the lining then i'm going to be sewing the peplum first the peplum is not that hard so this is it you are going to just join the down parts the one we cut to join you join it yes we join the down part yes yes as you can see i'm actually showing you so we join it together so after joining it we fix the band and we fix the zip this is not a very big tutorial it's just very simple and easy to make so i've already joined the beds to it so i'm going to sew the side and put zip inside that is all for the but for the peplum then you sew the down part and put your zip that is all for the peplum skirt it's very easy and very simple to make very very easy and very simple then you fold the down part that is all so let's go right to the skirt this is the main video so at this point this is the so we are going to sew the down part we are going to be using the lining to fold it in yes we are going to be using the lining to fold it in. sew the down part and sew the side we are going to use do the same thing to the front and the back so i was done this is what i'm trying to say using the fabric because the fabric was not much this children it's a children is a ad a, like not really a adult so but 
kind of children so this is the front and this is the back so i'm going to be ironing it i turn it in and iron i give it a good press yes a good press actually so at this point we are going to be doing the front as you can see this is the front you see one that one inches we four we sew we put in the front that is what we are going to be sewing down then you measure where you want your slit to reach it can be six inches it can be seven inches it can be any inches you want so you measure you sew the one inches to where you want your slit to start from then the other side you do your darts so for the back we are going to be doing the dart for the back then do the dart of the other side and then we are going to sew the zipper part so you know the back will not add slits so we are going to sew it down and make sure the allowance of the zipper part is there or the upper part so we sew it down so at this point we are done sewing as you can see i've sewed the one inches just the way you're seeing it and this is the slit okay this is the back part yes this is the back part we are going to be put so this is the front sorry guys this is the front i've sewed the one inches and this is the slit of the front yeah then we give it a good press just for it to make a good yeah so you open it just for the slit to slit well so at this point we could not see ankara to do the band anymore so i also use brider to do the band to it yes to do the band to the front and the upper part so i didn't do i just sew it together and weave the inside as you can see so that is the this thing i did then the next thing is putting the zip to the back yeah we're going to put the zip to the back then yes as you can see this is a zip i actually make two of this dress and it's nice already because they are going to collect it in there so after putting the zip we sew the side yes we sew the side and sew the side and we are almost done with this tutorial and if you watched it now you have not subscribed to my youtube channel so this is the this is the the bowl that we are going to use i use 11 inches by 7 they will sew it and turn it in turn it out so at this point i have to iron before going to join everything i'm done joining the zip the side everything is well placed as you can see it's already given set the pencil skirt is already given so i'm done turning this and i fold it in i've turned it out so at this point we are going to be using this small this thing to turn it in yes we are going to be using this to turn it and sew it yes we are going to sew it just to hold the dress just to hold it to hold it then we are going to be sewing it to the front part of this thing just look at what i'm doing just check out what i'm doing that is what i actually did for it if you watched it now and you have not subscribed to our youtube channel i don't know what you're waiting for make sure you subscribe and comment and give us a thumbs up and make sure you love of as you can see we are done with the tutorial thank you for watching and i hope this tutorial helps if you have any tutorial to give us make sure you comment look at the looks it is actually nice i actually made two two of this and it was really beautiful thanks for watching see you on my next video make sure you comment and make sure you subscribe i'm packing my product and waiting for going for delivery thank you guys for watching see you on my next video bye love you guys make sure you comment and give us a thumbs up bye